Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and today I would like to explain to you the concept of SharePoint alerts. Now, what is an alert? <clears throat> Essentially, it's a, an email notification mechanism when something happens uh, within SharePoint list or SharePoint library. For example, let's say I want to be notified when somebody uploads a document to the document library, or I want to be notified when somebody deletes a doc document in the document library, or I want to be notified when somebody modifies the document that I created. For any of the scenarios, you can set up an alert, so you will be, um, you know, you will be notified immediately, or, um, you know, whenever you desire, um, about particular activities that happened in the library. So let's take a look, how do we set up alerts? Um, let's, let me go to the document library over here, on the sales site, so I have a bunch of you know, files and folders here. And um, in order to set up, set up an alert, here's what you have to do. And by the way, um, any team member can set up their own alerts. You don't need to be an admin. You don't need to be a site owner or have some special privileges. As long as you can access the site, the library, you know, if you can have regular, you know, member rights, uh, meaning you can add, edit, delete stuff on the site, you can set up an alert as well. So here's what you have to do. So you, you navigate to the library. Let's say I want to be notified when somebody, you know, deletes a document or modifies the document, okay? So three dots in this ribbon over here. Alert me. Here we go. Now, uh, you will be presented to with uh, the screen right here. And um, because I'm an admin, because I'm an admin, I actually have site um, admin rights. Um, um, uh, to, to this site collection, I actually can set up alerts for other users. Now you will not see this particular, you know, this particular uh, feature when you set up your alerts. Um, okay, um, by default, you will just be pretty much creating an alert for yourself. But an admin can actually create alerts for others, just like I showed you. Okay, so here we go. I am setting up an alert on the library, and you pretty much just go through this and fill in the blanks and, 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 and you know, and adjust it as necessary. So here we go. We can create an alert for any kind of change, you know, when new items are added, meaning documents uploaded, modified or deleted, all right? Or, you know, what I, I can also specify a little bit further here, a little bit further down, uh, I can specify, you know what, I, I only want to be notified when somebody changes the document that I created. So whatever the triggers are, you know, make sure to uh, you know, choose the appropriate radio button, and then the last thing you need to do is just set up, uh, set up um, the the you know the frequency, right? Uh, how frequent you know how how soon you want to be notified. Essentially, by default, it's an Im immediate notification. You can also um, be notified once a day, kind of a summary of all the you know changes. So once a week, you can pick up your favorite date and time, and then click OK, and then you will pretty much get a confirmation email uh, right after this uh, saying that the alert has been set up and from that point on you will anytime somebody fits the trigger that you uh, you set up uh, you will get an email all right uh, now you can also set up an alert uh, not on the whole library but on the individual files and folders you know let's say we have lots and lots of documents here and i really don't want to be bothered you know by all these emails i, I only want to know this is a good one. I have a client share document, right, a folder. This is the folder that I happen to share with my external, you know, clients. And I want to be notified when they upload or do something in this folder. So here's what you have to do. Just hit the checkbox next to the folder. Remember last time we didn't, you know, we just went here and created an alert. This time we hit the checkbox to this folder. Three dots, alert me. So same steps, just need to hit the checkbox. And here we go. This time we're setting up an alert on this particular folder. And the screen is the same. You just fill in the blanks. Um, let's just say I want to be notified when new items are added. Click OK. The alert has been set up. In a similar fashion, you can, you can set up an alert on a particular file as well. Let's say I want to be notified about, uh, you know, anytime somebody changes this file, you can do that too. But probably, you know, that's a bit of maintenance. 
maintenance, <laughs> you know, if you have to set up alerts for all these different individual files. Now, I showed you how, um, how alerts work in the context of a document library, but you can also set up an alert on any list in SharePoint. So if you have a custom list, if you, um, let's say an issues log or something, if you have a task list, um, you know, the tasks web part that you have, uh, if you have a, a SharePoint calendar, that's also a list, um, you can, or SharePoint announcements, uh, essentially any, any sort of list, you can also, you can also set up uh, an alert uh, for, uh, for those uh, lists as well, uh, just like a document library, all right? Perfect, so uh, hopefully you learned something uh, new today. I appreciate your attention and, uh, and uh, viewing this video. And I hope to see you again on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Thank you very much, folks, and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.